So as you guys already know, I went to PAX East last weekend, and the convention itself was absolutely amazing. You know, it was great. You know, I got to meet a lot of people, got to just, you know, hang out and chill, buy a lot of Pokemon cards, all that stuff. But when it comes to the hotel that I stayed at, that a lot of people stayed at, actually, <laughs> um, I can definitely say I will never go back to that hotel. If you're wondering what hotel we stayed at, it is the Hilton Boston Logan Airport. It's the hotel that is connected to the airport. And literally, since I walked into the hotel, we've had nothing but trouble, whether it was about financial issues um, or it was like noise complaints. I want you to know, I heard the word noise complaints from the security guards at least a good 10 times while there at the fucking hotel and it makes no sense how how you know i've heard that word or those words so many times like it makes no sense whatsoever so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to uh you know tell you guys about the whole situation tell you guys basically from start to finish what happened at the hotel i hope i tell it correctly but um I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you guys, you know, about the hotel experience and um, about the hotel service and things like that. And uh, yeah, because honestly, I, I was not too happy. A lot of people were not too happy with this hotel and I will definitely never go back to the Hilton Boston Logan Airport ever again. So when I walked into the hotel, you know, I, I met with uh, you know my roommates or whatever and we got myself a room key, right? So we go up to the room and we, uh, you know, uh, put my stuff down and go back down to the lobby and we go out to eat, right? Well, next thing I know, Glitch City, you guys know Glitch, she calls and she's like, well, our hotel keys got deactivated. Fun fact, the hotel keys actually got deactivated before I even got there and they had to get new room keys. So this was like, what, the second time that the hotel keys got deactivated? So we had, so I was going, I was eating and so we had to go back to the hotel and figure shit out. Well, turns out, um, Frozen Train, uh, another roommate of mine and a friend, um, his uh, debit card or credit card or whatever got declined for some weird reason. And so I had to basically pay up $500 right then and there for Thursday night and Friday night, which it was, that's kind of weird, but okay, whatever. Well, I mean, I thought you took the amount like out after, you know, we leave or check out, but <laughs> you know, and never mind, whatever. So we, I pay up 500 for that, right? And we get new room keys. Well, as we're heading up to our room, a security guard stops us. Okay, now I can't. Now there's there were two security guards in this story. There's the black one, and there's the I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he is. I think maybe Latino or something, or I don't know. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm just gonna the black one and then the other one. Okay. Well, the black security guard he stops me and Fro as we're about to head up to the room to uh, you know put down our stuff and like chill for a little bit, and he's like. And then he's just like, hey, what room are you going up to? And we're like, 419. He's like, oh, well, your room keys aren't going to work. Your new room keys aren't going to work even if you use them. Um, so I got to help you out with that. And we're like, okay. So he tosses like the hotel manager or some shit like that. And then he heads up to the room with us. Well, he does some shit to the door. Um, because I tried my room key, my room key actually didn't, it actually didn't work. So, uh, he put his room key in there and fixed the door or some shit. And then I put my room key in there and it works, right? Okay, that's great. Whatever. We can get into our, we can get into our room now, but he doesn't leave. He just sits there. He just like sits there for whatever reason. We don't, we don't know why, but he's just chilling there. So, um, we noticed that, uh, Elliot, Galactic Elliot and Old School Sin, um, they're staying directly across from us and we're like, oh, that's cool. So I'm going to go say hey to them because it's my first time meeting them. So I step into the room. I say all of like two words. I mean, literally, I say all of two fucking words in the room and literally that same black security guard comes back and he's like, whose room, whose, uh, whose room is this? Who's this room under right now? Like who's registered for this room? and we say well the owner is actually not here so they so then he goes like well we've been getting noise complaints so if you don't if you're not staying in this room you have to leave and i'm like i was only here for like two minutes are you fucking serious i was in here for all of like two minutes and then you're telling me 
I gotta leave. Yeah, oh, okay, whatever. So we just walk right back across the hall and go back to our room. Um, and I think later that night, we go back to Gal uh, Elliot's room and whatever, and we start playing Smash. Well, we try to keep the noise level down because we don't want to get noise complaints. And, well, guess who's knocking at the fucking door? It is the security guard again, and he's like, oh, we've been getting noise complaints again, so you have to leave again. And I'm just sitting here like, are you kidding me? We tried to keep the noise level down, and apparently we weren't low enough. I don't, I don't fucking know. So we had to go back to our rooms again, and that was pretty much like Friday night, I do believe. I think that was like Friday and Saturday, actually. That's Friday and Saturday. Sunday was the absolute worst, okay? Sunday was just, was just fucking crazy. First, no, 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 no. So Friday night, I had to pay up 500, right? Saturday night, uh, it was no Saturday morning. I wake up to look at my bank account and I see a random six hundred and fifty three dollar uh, Authorization charge on my account and I'm sitting here looking like What is this? I only agreed to the 500. What is this 653? And so it took us like three people it took us like it, it, we had to go through like three people to find out that oh the hotel charges you an extra 20% just in case you charge something to the hotel and then they so they don't keep authorizing your card and like your then your card will get like declined and whatnot so they put a 20% charge on your card and they re, they refund you your 20% but no one knew this no one knew this going into the hotel so we're just like so we're freaking out like this hotel is overcharging us by like four hundred dollars right now and we're just like me and fro we're just like freaking out because he had a 250 dollar charge from the hotel on his card i had a 500 dollar charge and then a 653 dollar charge on my card and i'm like what the fuck is this like what is this and so we get all that settled um we get all we get all that settled pretty easily that 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 wasn't even that wasn't even a big deal but sunday night sunday night i want you to know sunday night was literally the worst possible night okay so um we get back from the convention and we chill in pk's room well we start playing smash and you guys know we had like maybe five six people in the room maybe seven i'm not sure and um we start playing smash and we're kind of we're kind of loud but we're trying to keep it down a little bit low well we get a knock at the door and guess who it is it's a security guard now it's not the black security guard but it's a security guard so um he tries to kick us all out but luckily pk managed to uh talk him out of kicking us out we just like you know we're sorry that we were making a lot of noise uh, we're gonna keep our noise level down yada 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 right so security guard leaves we keep our noise levels down right we just keep our noise level down well uh, we get we end up getting dinner and um, we had like two two liters of, of soda and like iced tea right well we needed cups because it's like how can we serve you know drinks to like multiple people if um if we don't have cups you know like how can I get my cup of soda or how can I get my cup of tea if uh, we don't have cups so um what we do is we call downstairs and then like we ask for uh they ask us you know how many cups do you need we say eight and then they proceed to ask how many people are in the room right now and we're like uh all we want is cups is that that, that is not of any of your concern right now like we just want cups so they bring up the cups well guess who brings up the cups black security guard he brings up the cups and he's just like oh how many people are in the room oh there's so many people in the room all, all you gotta leave all you, all you have to leave because we've been getting noise complaints we're like are you fucking serious you literally came up here to deliver fucking cups and you're trying to give us the fucking noise complaint excuse like the first security guard came up and told us about a noise complaint we've kept our noise level down we kept our noise level down and like after he came and then you now you're telling us we're still getting noise complaints even though we are trying to talk as low as possible and we're still and we're still getting noise complaints are you fucking serious you're only supposed to be here to deliver cups what so um so tara um one of our friends she um she basically talks to the security guard and she's like no we're all eating dinner we're not leaving uh, no one's leaving this room because we're all eating dinner. We've kept our noise level low. Who we don't know, like we don't know what the fuck is happening. We've kept our noise level down. 
I don't know who's complaining about noise, but we're not, so no one is leaving, and uh, yeah, bye. And so what the security guard did was he brought up the manager, and the manager is all like, oh, we've been getting noise complaints, yada, 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 and blah, 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 and PK was like, well, do you have any proof that you've been getting noise complaints and stuff? And she's like, yeah, we do. We have call logs. I'm like, can we see these call logs? And she's like, no, we, you can't see the call logs because of security reasons. And, we're and I'm just sitting here thinking like, you do realize how how stupid this sounds, right? It's like you have the proof, but you can't show us the proof. And we've been getting nonstop bullshit about this noise complaint thing all weekend. So, you know, under normal circumstances, I would believe you, but at this point, I don't. Because like the fact of the matter is, I step if I can step into a room and say two words and get a noise complaint, then then there must be something wrong okay like then there's something fucking wrong so we're just like okay whatever and then she's like oh you can only have four registered members in a room at a time and we're just like wait what and she's like no that's not a hotel policy that's the fire department policy and we're like wait so you can't even have guests over in a room she's like unfortunately no we're like are you fucking kidding what the what kind of hotel is this you can't have more than four people in a room like that doesn't make any kind of sense whatsoever. It's like, yeah, okay, there are rooms that are attended for four people, but you already know there's a gaming convention going on. You know there's going to be people staying up all night. You know that there's going to be people, you know, talking and whatnot, trying to talk low and stuff. And you know voices are going to carry. You already know, like, all this shit is happening. Half of your fucking like literally maybe 75% of the people that were staying in the hotel that weekend was there for PAX East. Shit, I used PA the they had a fucking code to get free Wi-Fi and it was PAX East 15. Like that was the fucking code. Like it was like PAX East 2015. But you're still trying to keep everybody fucking super duper quiet and shit. Either and we're like, okay, either the person who's complaining about noise has everything off in their room and they can hear every single little thing happening over next door. Or they're just bullshitting and they're just trying to run a really really strict hotel and it's so weird because the hotel was not like that last year okay because we did a fucking Lumio station podcast from that same hotel um last year and literally we didn't even get any kind of noise complaints at all shoot we were screaming and yelling and singing and everything and you're telling me this year all because we're playing smash and, and shit we've been getting noise complaints and it's not even just us because like i literally said the word noise complaint and um like shady and um you know shady and them they all got noise complaints as well and all we did was play smash in the rooms that's all we did that is all we did i mean there were there were times that where we would get a little bit loud but then we go like we know like we were just like Shh, keep your noise level down you know but but we still end up getting noise complaints so we ended up getting kicked out of pk's room and you know, as we were walking down the hallway, the security guard and the manager were walking behind us, and I say it loud enough to where they can hear it, but low enough to where we were getting a noise complaint, and I just say, fuck this hotel, I'm never coming back. Like, this hotel is stupid. It, it's such a fucking stupid hotel. Like, you're telling me, like, your policies are that strict? When it comes to staying in a room, they're that strict. You can't have guests. Like, if you have four people in a room, you can't have guests over. You can only have four registered members of a room at a time. So you're telling me, like, only the registered people can be in the room at the time? I don't, I don't even fucking know what kind of logic that is. So you can't have guests. Um, only four registered members in the room. Um noise complaints everywhere and but we can't but you can't prove it because well you can't show us the call logs and it's just like you know like i said i'd believe it if i didn't get if the entire weekend didn't go down like it did you know like like i said if i didn't step into a room said two words get a noise complaint then i would probably believe that but since that happened it's like well what the f what what is happening here and then it's so weird because we were all in the lobby we had at least a good 20 people in the lobby okay like literally 20 people in the lobby fucking christian aka faint attacks he was doing backflips in the lobby there was a push-up contest in the lobby there was just so much shit going on in the lobby a freaking staff member photo bombed luke's photo and no one and no one knew she photo bombed until the picture was taken and she said photo bomb and we're all like oh and we all were just screaming and yelling in the lobby and no one stops us in the lobby no one no one says anything to us in the lobby but as soon as we go up to our room and as soon as we try to fucking talk and play freaking smash and shit no noise complaint and we're just sitting here like i'm t i was i was so tired of hearing the word noise complaint i was so tired i was so fucking tired like the minute i left that hotel i said 
fuck that hotel, okay? Hilton, Boston Logan Airport, fuck that hotel, dude. Fuck that hotel. That makes no sense whatsoever. You know there's a gaming convention going on. You know there are going to be people talking and playing video games in their room. You know that there there might be like loud, large crowd, uh, not large crowds or whatever, loud crowds and whatever. You know, you know we're going to try to keep our noise level down, but there's still going to be some kind of noise. And but no, they don't care. They just want to run a really really strict hotel and like. And like half the time when the security guard came up to us and said noise complaint, he's like, oh, we don't want to get the, we, oh, we don't want to get the manager uh, down here or up here because, you know, yada, 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 manager's really, really strict and she'll probably like evict you or something like that. We're just like, we're just talking. We're just talking and playing Smash. But what? So I don't know. I'm never going back to that hotel again. And then not only that, the only convenient thing about the hotel is that it's connected to the airport. But it's like, really, if you think about it, how many times are we going to actually need to go to the airport when we're leaving? So that's the only good thing about the hotel. Everything else about the hotel was pretty much fucking shit. Like the hotel is close enough to where you can take a shuttle to the convention, but it's far enough to where you can't just walk. You can't walk anywhere. Like if you want, if you want to get something to eat, you have to take a cat, uh, a cab or an Uber or something like you have to do that. And it's so, it's so stupid. It's, it's, in, it's in a place where it's just like, it's, it's not convenient to really anyone except for, I guess, pilots and flight attendants because well, they fly and they're, it's connected to the hotel, it connects to the airport. But I don't know. I'm never staying at the Hilton Boston Logan Airport Hotel ever again. I'm never I'm never doing that until they decide to maybe, you know, change their ways and not bust everyone who's fucking trying to play Smash in the room and trying to, you know, talk and things like that, you know? Like all we're trying to do is just talk and have a good time and when you ruin the good time multiple times, it just makes us not want to stay at that fucking hotel. Like I like literally that ho that hotel is so fucking stupid. Like it's it's so stupid. Like between the security guard, the manager, and the, fin the financial issues, I I just I that that hotel stay was literally the the worst. Okay, it was it was so bad. It, it was really bad. And then their policies for like um paying for the hotel is so weird. Like I don't mean, I forgot what he said but it was a really weird policy and it made no sense to us it it really didn't like we wanted to pay part of it in cash and then like um the rest of it charged to the card and it, i don't know why but it was it was so damn difficult to do that i was just like okay i'll just put all the money on my card and then fucking pay for the hotel that way i don't know it was it was really stupid honestly <laughs> honestly uh this whole thing was the complete opposite of south because like legit um at at pack south we stayed at the hilton um right across the street from the convention center and we had not even gonna lie to you 20 people in a room we had at least a good 10 to 20 people in a room and we got caught uh, and like security got called on us like once okay but that was after like two hours of everyone being in the room you know so like take that and then compare it to me being in the room for two minutes and getting a noise complaint or me being in a room for like 10 minutes and getting a noise complaint it, it doesn't add up it doesn't add up but i don't know fuck that hotel i do not recommend that hotel to anybody at least not this year maybe next year they'll have new management or something like that new security guards and stuff and maybe the people who are staying at the hotel um won't be so uppity and shit i don't know but for right now it i would not i would definitely would not stay there i definitely would not stay there um because that was that was just a terrible 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 experience uh for me and for a lot of people but uh, i don't know i had to get that off my chest because that was that was the dumbest fucking shit i've ever experienced in my life when it came to a hotel like that was that was just stupid but I don't know. I hope I got my point across, and if I did, um, there you go. You're welcome. Um, and I know there are a lot. Of, there were people who are waiting on this rant, and you know, here you go. There, that's it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. So thank you guys so much for watching and whatnot. And if you if you do work at that hotel and um, you happen to see this video, um, fuck that hotel. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gone. So uh, bye.